I have uh, been an entrepreneur for 10 years, uh, a lot longer than that, but officially probably 10 years with my uh, first business, uh, uh, so in 2002 to 2015. I think the key thing is, is just every, every road down entrepreneurship is different. Um, you know, there's, depending on what you're going into and what you're trying to sell. So for me, it's different than other ones. Um, you know, I had a, a, a different experience than some of my other entrepreneur friends. But some of the main things are, you know, if you have an idea, uh, see if other people are willing to pay for it uh, and validate that idea. That's something that I learned early on and uh, thankful for it because it saved me a lot of headache and uh, you know money. Um, other things are, you know, uh, if if you're passionate about something and you lose passion for it later, um, I think you got to know when to hang it up. Uh, uh, that's something that uh, recently happened to me and uh, my business partner and I uh, recently sold our out of our ten businesses our biggest one. <laughs> So, yeah, I think it just as an entrepreneur, you have to, the best way to learn is just to get your feet wet. Um, you just have to get out there and, and go at it. Um, and some of the, my experiences are uh, gonna be different than what they go through, but uh, the nice thing about being an entrepreneur and meeting other entrepreneurs is you can bounce ideas off of each other, you can share stories, wins, losses, and they know what you're going through. Uh, and it's definitely helpful uh, for an entrepreneur to surround themselves with people who are going through similar experiences and, and have uh, some insights that maybe you don't have or, or need. Uh, but I think uh, just get your feet wet and, and go after it. Uh, and if you're a sales, salesperson, it's a lot easier than if you're not, <laughs> from my experience. In my lecture, if you guys check it out, uh, uh, I talk about the 10 businesses that I started in 10 years. And I know that seems like a lot, and it is and probably six out of the 10 didn't do well. Um, but I learned a lot from them. Uh, <clears throat> so the, the, the one that I would probably say was my favorite was probably the one that made me the most money. <laughs> and uh, uh, just because it allowed us to, to do other fun things. But in the end, when I look back at all the other businesses, it, uh, uh, it was uh, the one I was tightest with, with our employees and, and with my business partner and we'd always go on, go on sales trips together and uh, in the end it was, I would say that would probably be my number one choice. Number two would be my uh, the ping pong foosball one just because that's fun.